Okay, this is funny, right? Um, what's with all the empty plates then? Plenty of knives and forks though. That's because it's from dinner. Everything comes out in a specific order, starting with uh with ores, ores devours. Then you use the knives and forks uh, from from uh, the outside in, and that's all part of the that's all part of having good man good table manners. And here comes the anxiety attack. Ha ha ha! It's really not so bad. It does mean that you get to have some some of the finest foods available. Manners and a tick are secondary. Indeed, indeed. I'm told that you're acquainted with everyone who will be attending. Hey, how's it going, Papito Sharp? Oh, we got the new emote. Hell yeah, with the new emote. Is that anyone? I think it is, right? Hell yeah, dude. Oh, Papito Sharp, are you online right now? Because if you are, I'll make sure to to stop by, homie. I need to get stressed out. Oh, there's my Papito Sharp. Let's get it, boy. Need to get to start. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's true. Please don't encourage her. On that note, um, is a gentleman uh, accompanying you going to be okay with a knife and fork? I'm told that folks from East actually eat with chopsticks. You've done your research. However, I am a firm believer in the when liberal do as the liberals do policy. I'm not especially skilled with them, but I will use a knife and fork. How elegantly handled. I'm impressed you're uh, as much a gentleman as you are a martial art champion. Haha, -ha, you flatter me. Boy, he really is a complete sucker for a pretty face. <laughs> I think he is more being polite than a leech, though. Anyway, his grace is really late. I wonder what's up myself, what he's up to. Indeed. So if he's, if the seat at the head of the table is for the duke, then who might be that other one for? Indeed. Perhaps it is intended for, for Princess Claudia. Your attention, ladies and gentlemen, my humble apologies for your long delay. Presenting uh, His Grace the Duke. Well then, I must apologize for making you wait, sir. I'm afraid that I was in the meeting from which I simply could not break away. This gentleman is Colonel Richard, Commanding Officer of the Royal Army Intelligence Division. Of the Royal Intelligence Division. Uh, I invited him here to thank him for his tireless efforts in helping to deal with the terrorist situation. It's a pleasure to meet you all. I was quite gratified to be invited to this occasion by our Honorable Duke. I'll say you pardon my un uncouth soldier's uniform and allow me to sit with you. Dude. You've got to be kidding for having dinner with him. I suspected this might happen, but it's still unnerving. Okay. Ah, uh -huh. excellent, excellent. What say you, Mayor Maybelline? What do you think of Grand Soul Castle's Master Chef? Is his cooking not, not on par with the found in Bossy's and Antero's restaurant? Yes, it is quite remarkable. The win the wine selection also perfectly com complements the meal. I almost want to try hiring him away. Aha, uh -huh. you are not the first to say such things. Oh, uh, what a view, Zin. What's in it? Uh, is the, is the food you like in? Oh, it's excellent. I don't have the words to describe the sense of refinement and depth. I certainly believe I could develop a real taste for liberal cuisine, though. Good, good. I'm glad to hear it. And you, young bracers. I imagine you've never experienced such fine food in your life before. It's extremely delicious, for far more worthy of being associated with the royal family than the person who invited us. Ah, indeed. It is a genuine treat. Huh? It is certainly delicious food. We <laughs> couldn't. Yeah, that that's a massive fucking. That's a massive like fucking um, uh, roast of the duke, and we couldn't miss a chance to attend so prestigious an event like this as this. Thank you very much for the for your gracious invitation. Haha, <laughs> very kind of you to say. I do finally remember what my butler has been telling me about. We must. We met before during the run incident. Perhaps our fates are linked in some bizarre fashion. Yes, sir. Maybe so. So he forgotten all about us until his battle around, around him. Come on, let us put our social classes and ranks aside for an evening. Food is abundant and the wine flows freely, so enjoy it to your heart's content. Your Grace, if we could, I'd like to do, I'd like to do as we discuss first. Oh yes, that's a fine idea. Actually, I have something important to say to you fine folk who represent the kingdom. I use this celebration as a place to make an important announcement. An announcement. And what that might be? Hmm. I believe I will be allowed Colonel Richard to explain in detail. Thank you. 
As you are no doubt already aware, the Her Majesty has been in poor health of late. However, she has been recovering and may grace us with a public appearance soon. Oh, that's excellent news. Could we possibly go on checking on her? Unfortunately, she does not consider that to be a wise decision at the moment. Within a few days, it seems likely that the terrorists pl plaguing the kingdom will be swept away. In light of that, the Queen's birthday celebrations will be held as originally planned. Oh well, the citizens will surely be happy to hear th this news, as they have been looking forward to it. But surely, that is not all you wish to tell us. Right, if that were all, you could you could have just send a message along. Indeed, you are correct. Her Majesty is continuing to recover as we previously stated, however, given the, gra the gravity of her condition, she also has issued a proclamation. Due to her tenuous health, she, wish she has stated that she wishes to advocate the throne and turn over royal authority to her nephew, Duke Dunan. What? Is this true? This is... Yeah, the conspiracy finally makes its appearance. I was surprised when Her Majesty first broached the subject as well, but her illness has left her quite fragile. But it's only natural. She has ruled the kingdom for 40 years, leading it through times of travel war, all without a husband, my add. Given that, I wish to relieve her of all the stress of her duties following her the festival's successful conclusion. As the heir of the, to the throne, the decisions are mine to make. How terrible is Her Majesty's condition truly that severe? I am ashamed that I've never noticed any signs in any of the in any of my annual visits. Isn't isn't this far too serious a matter to discuss out of what this is supposed to be a casual dinner? Pardon my rudeness, but this is all seems to stretch credulity. Hmm. Mayor Maybelline, are you saying that you cannot take his grace at his word? No, nothing of the sort. I simply mean to mean that as a, an elected official. I don't understand why the successor to the throne can be elected in the same fashion. That's true. If possible, if possible, I'd like to hear this directly from the Majesty. Your anis is quite understandable, but we do ask that you try to maintain your composure and allow us to continue. As mentioned earlier, I believe that Her Majesty will give a formal announcement herself during the festival. Could you be persuaded to shelve your doubts until then? Well, the issue is basically this. Once this becomes common knowledge, we cannot know how the citizens will react. This is why we are telling the leaders first to help st stave off any chaos or public disorder before it happens. This was so also the decision of His Grace. Well, yes, this is true. Also, the Queen's abdication of the throne will be will have international repercussions. The other nations on the continent will have their eyes on us, and we must be watchful for the any action on the part of the Erevonians. Surely, you can see why it is necessary to show unified uh, support of the for the new king. This is the world in which we live. We're going to live living. He makes it so oh, sound so rational. Yeah, he's quite the master manipulator. In other words, the official decree will be given during the birthday celebration. But you thought it would be best to inform us first so that we can be prepared for any issues that we that may arise, correct? Haha, I'm glad to see that you have an understanding. If this all comes to pass, we're going to find ourselves quite busy. Yes, I will have to announce it to the citizens. I have a question. I believe that the Duke has a fair claim to the throne. However, is there not another also who also has the same right of succession? Well, no doubt you're referring to Her Majesty's granddaughter, Princess Claudia. It is true that she and His Grace have an equal claim to the throne, but it would appear that Her Majesty did not choose her due to her ten uh, tender age. Nah, and I must say, I agree with her wisdom in this matter. I should hardly like to impose such responsibility upon a girl so young. Yes, yes, absolutely. For the time being, I believe it would be, it would be best for Claudia to find a new, uh, fine marriage pr prospect. Though it is extremely informal that there is uh, already interest for the royal families of a number of other nations, perhaps a royal wedding could take place as soon as this year. Oh my, mm, I understand. If that happens, then we'll have to two more events to celebrate. I honestly think this is, she's a bit young for marriage. Excuse me, may I ask you a question? Zin, I don't mind, speak freely. Search seem rude, but this doesn't seem like a kind of conversation you want outsiders hearing, particularly a foreigner. So how come you're making this announcement now? That is solely because of these uh, certain deepest turns of events that allowed Bracers to win the championship. We had wanted to inform the guild of this in advance as well. We already discussed this idea with the Majesty. Gotcha. I guess liberals, military, and Bracers are only just as good as of terms as the stories say. 
This is because we lack the military strength of the Empire of, of the Republic. The harsh reality is that keeping close relations with each other is a must. In any event, uh, do you now understand our intentions? Mm, yeah, are you right? We'll pass on to what we learned uh, here at the Guild, then. Mm. Man, I've heard some pretty unbelievable conversations in my time, but that was something else. I mean, I'm, I'm a foreigner, all, after all, so it's not a, as big of a deal for me. I bet that was a huge news for you guys, though. Of course it was. I can't believe things have gone this far already. Never mind. But really, what a shame. That food was so amazing and it, pr and it practically melted in the mouth. Couldn't tell what the last flavor was, though. Uh, understandable, though. But anyways, did you want to go for a walk to work off some of the red sheet food style? Oh yeah, sure. I could go for a little bit of a fresh air. You explained tourists a while ago. Now you want to go take a, an Athena walk. I sure don't get it. Must be a local thing. I think you're celebrating a little bit. You haven't gone out to take in the sights. There's a lot of historic um, architecture around here, you know. If the, mo if the mood hits me, I might still give it a shot. On the other hand, the kitchen might still have some food left over. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. You're still hungry? If you had a blade to my throat, my dying wish would be to throw some liquor and a snack. I might go and hump at a bar or something a little, li little bit. Okay, so we need to go... Things have gotten serious. We really have to find a way to get into Sim Her Majesty. First things first, we gotta to talk to the head maid, Hilda, like we promised. She probably knows a way for us to get... Okay, so let's go... So I'm gonna save here, though, just in case, because... Oh, it's you. What? Mm, Colonel Richard. Mm -hmm. yeah, sorry, why is my connection being so crappy right now? I don't know why. Yet. So have you moved everything already to your place? Um, You move everything already? Article? Or are you still like unpacking stuff? How still and Joshua? This is our first opportunity to truly speak face to face, I believe. The last time we saw each other was to one another was right after Mayor Dalmore was arrested, wasn't it? I'm honestly surprised that uh, you remember us. I realized that we exchanged few words, but you made quite a, an impression on me. My curiosity was uh, picked, so I did a bit. Of, so I did. So I did a bit of shaking up on you. I was quite surprised to learn that you were the children of the Colonel Cassius. How did you find that out? Uh, please understand that I'm not trying to show off the intelligence division's capabilities. I'm gl greatly in indebted to him for our time together in the army. Indeed, more than words can probably express. May I uh, persuade you to stay a while and talk? I've been hoping to speak with you too for quite some time now. Pardon me, Colonel. Very much. Last cleaning day for the old houses tomorrow. Oh, so you have to go in. Okay. But yeah, so how can, how can you move? Was it because of work or... Or did you just want like a place of your own kind of thing? Um. Yeah, I said we are... Uh, I'm thinking that like, next year we're gonna, ha we're gonna have to... Uh, we want to make the, the house a bit bigger. So we're gonna have to, you know take a uh, a feather loan to try to yeah, to renovate and make the house bigger but why don't you have a meeting with this grace I don't mind being a bit late and yes if we're going to talk why don't we use the lodge inside I'll mix you up um, a couple of virgin cocktails I'll prepare them sir no that wouldn't be necessary I want you to go to this grace and for informing that I'll be late yes sir pardon me then why is she mad, bro? Also, my connection is crappy right now. I don't know why. Now then, shall we retire to lunch? Please follow me. Oh. Joshua, what should we do? I don't see where where we have much of a choice but following. We'll be a little late, but we have to talk to him mate later. Okay. Alrighty. So I'm sure that he knows who we are, right? Like I'm, I like you know what we up to. I met Cassius shortly after I graduated from the military academy. I was assigned to a mobile unit that was under his command. And since that time, I found myself in his debt again, again, again and again. Both personally and professionally. 
He did. And what did you think of him at the time? To put it simply, he was a hero, and a master sword swordman to, to boot. No matter the scenario, he could find a way to handle any number of battle fronts in every direction. It wasn't just a matter of sheer tactics, he understood and could direct high-level strategy as well. Quite simply, he was a man without peer. If I didn't know better, I'd say we were talking about two different people. So you were with your father during the Hundred Year Wars? Yes, he was my SEO. Even now, I can still vividly remember the excitement that filled me as, I, as we executed his plan to turn out to turn the worst tide. Anytime I got I get to talking about those days, time just runs away from me. But this much I can tell you. If Cassius Bright had not been part of the Royal Army, Libel would now be part of the Arab Empire. No way. That's kind of hard to believe. Uh -huh. Well, he's a hero. As a hero, he had a knack for doing unbelievable things. He left the army immediately after the war, declining even a medal from the Queen, so few know of his achievements. But inside the army, many soldiers still hold him as the prime example of what a hero should be. He never said a word about any of this to me. Well, it's not really the kind of thing you tell your daughter about. It's not fair to criticize him for that. Hey, who's that are you on? And besides, why don't, doesn't any of the of this shock you like it shocks me? Did you already know all about uh, already know about all this or something? Well, I didn't know that he was Colonel Richard's superior officer. There is the rest I knew about vaguely. Vaguely, you're an accomplice. <laughs> hey, calm down. It's not like that. He told me of it. I just figured out a lot of it. Um, he told me he didn't feel it was something worthy of going out of this way to tell others about. Mm, I just don't get it. Like he comes back. When he comes back, he's so in trouble. I am. Um, please excuse us. He didn't. We didn't mean to interrupt. No, seeing you like this is actually a bit of a relief. When I found out your your father was intending to leave the military, I deliberately tried to stop him. But it seems that by leaving, he did was was fair for himself after all. After losing the, his dear wife, maybe being with his with you was all that could help him recover. Colonel Richard. Now then, I thank you for taking the time to come here. I really can't keep the Duke waiting, so I'm afraid you'll have to excuse me in. Alright. Apologies for making it just late. Not at all. You both have told me one thing I wanted most to know. And thus, I've no regrets. How's that again? I'm sure we'll have a chance to speak again. Cassius might be even with us then, to share in the stories. Okay, who is that man and what has he done with Colonel Richard? What are you babbling about now? It's just that it's weird to hear him talking about that that way. I wasn't expecting him to be so, well, nice. True, he doesn't seem all that uh, villainous, anyway. Even so, it's pretty much a foregone conclusion that he's got something on his sleeve. For now, we should probably put the issue of that outside. Yeah, I guess you're right. And I hate to say it, but I think he might he might have been playing nice just because he could get something out of it. He's an intelligence officer, so he probably thinks that fooling a couple of kids is easy as could be. Don't you think that's going to be a little far? You might be right. Let me be the one who's uh, mistrustful of others. You should be just follow your instinct and believe whatever you, you think is right. But let's make sure you are prepared to find anything. Don't let you, you guard down. I'd say a bracer's job is pretty much that, in fact. Okay, I got it. I'll keep it in mind. Thank you, still. Thank you. What the heck are you thanking me for? Anyway, we need to go back and see Hilda. She's probably sick of waiting for us. Yeah, she told she should be in the maid's quarters. Okay. So let's have a look at where she is. Uh, can we buy some? No, so we can actually do anything. So wasn't she like here? I think she was like here, right? No. She's supposed to be somewhere here, right? No, wait, what? Uh, no, yeah, she was downstairs. What was it? I thought we were there. Uh... No, it's not here, she know. <sighs> so, where is Sir Myers then? No, it's not there, isn't it? But where was she? I'm trying to. No, that, that's yeah, that's uh, Madame Maybelline, so no. I thought she was here, wasn't she? I thought she was in one of these rooms, if I remember correctly. No? 
Um. Okay. Okay, so I'm guessing that she, yeah, so she must be in a different level then. Yeah. Um, so she would be, no, she's not here, no. Um, you're back, okay. So I'm just trying to get this next section here completed. Ah, uh, where was she again? She was like... Oh, yeah. There you go, yeah, sorry. Oh, are you? Oh, gotcha. <laughs> it's been a few months. Uh, I said, you'll probably be a lot better than I am, dude. I'll let you up. I'll be waiting for you. You're awfully late, aren't you? Sorry about that. We kind of got caught by Colonel Richard. Did you Did you too? He had some things to tell you about uh, that. I don't think he has an idea that we're up to, though. I see. And yes, the later interaction did mention that you were Mr. Cassie's children. I can understand at least some of how Colonel, how Colonel Richard feels. feels. Uh, do you know how our dad, too? He used to come here when he worked as General Morgan's AD camp. Oh, is it? Okay, we'll carry you. <laughs> well, like I said, for me, it's mostly about like if you guys can teach me stuff. That's that, like yeah, you know, like if you guys can tell like tell me like. I'm not sure I understand. Oops, sorry, that's Siri. I'm told that he was a uh, school friend of the late prince of the late princess Maestro's son, the prince, Prince Louis' father. Yes, he was killed 15 years ago in a tragic shipwreck. Would that be? Would that? Would that he were still alive today, none of this would be happening. But lamenting that might have been a fool's errand. Yeah, I got you, Russia. Thank you. Evening is the fast portion. We must make our preparations at once. Come in, sir. Come in, Shia. Oh, hey, yeah, aren't you? You're yeah, Shia, right? Yes, thank you for remembering. You look well, Stellan Joshua. I've been told of your current predicament. You won't find a more dependable child. She's a great help to us whenever the princess is in the castle. Princess Claudia. That shouldn't pose a problem. Thank you. If you're ready, you should go change into your uniforms. The ribbons and the headpiece are tricky, so I'll adjust them for you. What do you mean? Yeah, I knew it. See, I knew it's coming. I said you're going to need to dress as one of the maids in order to get into the record. A little playing with the hair and you'll be blending, right? Oh, I get it. Uniforms don't allow us for such in the way of... Okay. That should be ideal for sneaking in. Me in a maid's outfit. I've been... Oh, shit. Andrew Beatties, God damn, Tickle! Thank you. I've been waiting for you to try once since we were we first met Ilya, Lila. Cute, breezy, and easy to move in. Uh, well, if your uniforms were easy for to move in, we'd make the cleaning much more difficult. I thought so. Well, let's get this sucker on me. Why so excited? I'm glad you are in high spirits, but you need to remember your manners in front of the queen. <laughs> you might have to lean on me this time. I need to make it to 1000. Oh, well, what do you have to know? Actually, I don't even know how much you've... you've. But why, why are you doing 1,000? How many have you actually... I don't even know how much you've... Tickle! Another 100? God damn! Oh, yeah, you've got it. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, you got the 1,000 one, yeah. I think that gives you the Jigglypuff emote, doesn't it? Yeah, I think that gives you the Jigglypuff, right? I'm pretty sure it gives you the Jigglypuff emote. If I'm not mis if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> I should know, but I I forgot. Hey, thank you for that. Thank you. Why not? Chanin too, aren't you? Er pardon. I mean did he did I mean he did play the princess during the play at the campus festival. Is really that much of a difference between the fantasy there's and a made outfit? That's different. It was a play. I can't appear before the majesty in a woman's clothes. You'll be fine. It's not at all shameful or anything. Besides, you made such a gorgeous princess. Not this again. Cut the jokes, will you? Hilda, Shia, help me out here. Say something. <laughs> Anyone? I see. That shouldn't pose a problem. Shia, don't you have that extra hair piece designed for the princess? Yes, it's not being used though. He has that full dark hair, so it would probably look... Ah. Hey, hold on a second. Hey, it looks like a trio. Looks like a trio to one vote. My your rules. This way, please. We can use this as a changing room. Wait a minute. I don't remember ever agreeing to changing. <laughs> all right, all right. If I have to change, I can do it myself. Shia, you're not planning on using makeup too, aren't you? Kiss his days. <laughs> oh my. Ta-da! Hee <laughs> hee. What do you think? I think it suits you very well. 
such a bright active mate in training, and after only just coming to the castle too, you suddenly have me convinced. And with the hair down like that, no one will be any any the wiser. Perhaps you like to work at Grandstill Castle, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that yeah, that gives you the Jigglypuff mode, like the one that's angry, like angry Jigglypuff. I'm pretty sure. Well, we already worked as bracers, you know. Anyway, come on, Joshua, get out of here. No chance I can talk to you out of this. Not at all. Just making this take longer. Fine, you're impossible sometimes. <laughs> but it's almost, it's almost frightening how good it looks. It's an awesome. Looks like better on him than it does on me, and I'm, I'm an actual girl. Haha, a bit of makeup can make all the difference in the world. Please, just say you're done. Well, I suppose so. I'll show you the way to the Royal Keep. You need to make sure that you watch me and learn how I made Ansel herself. Yes, ma'am. We're finally gonna meet the Queen in person. Yes, this is the door do or die moment. We just have to stay focused and get to the Royal Keep. It's hard to keep... It's hard to take you seriously in that outfit. Well, excuse me. This was your idea. I can't believe you've got the nerve to be gone. Sorry, sorry. Don't get all mad. I'll treat you to some ice cream. Actually, I wonder because yeah, because I'm gonna have high ping. I wonder how that works with the generator um, checks. You know how you have to like press a space bar. Yeah, I wonder if it's gonna be. Hopefully, that's not too difficult for me. I'll treat you to some ice cream later. Okay. Mm, it's not like you. I'm not as obsessed with food. Hey, I'm not obsessed with food. Ha! They got along so well, don't they? We're out of time. Let's get to the royal keep. Okay, so let's save here though. Yeah, save here. I'll see you guys soon.